father and son walked briskly without speaking except for intermittent monosyllabic exchange they might as well have been strangers this has become a routine since retiring from the army a couple of years back john snyder is highly respected in the military circles for his exploits in the vietnam war for the u.s army as they made their way to the makeshift shooting range the boy noticed that there was something different about his father. He could not tell exactly what, though he did not know that he was about to learn the biggest lesson of his life. They soon reached their destination and silence fell between them. Except for the sound of the birds, the whole forest seemed like a graveyard. The boy looked up at his father, whose gaze was fixed far, far away beyond the shooting range. The boy himself became lost in thought, wondering what was wrong with his father and why he acted so weird. And suddenly, a voice broke into his thoughts, jolting him back to the present. His father handed him a small rose flower as usual and he ran some meters and hung it on a tree at the far end of the range. With that, he knew that the game was about to begin as he brightened up a little. But much to his surprise, his father drew out his small cloth out of his pocket and asked to be blindfolded, something he had never done before. The boy would have given anything to ask questions, but he knew better than to do that. He took the blindfold and blindfolded him, handed him his rifle and stepped back. He raised the rifle and aimed at the target. Who does this, taking a shot while blindfolded? The boy wondered. He watched, amazed as the rifle went off, missing its target by a long shot. The gun went off twice after that, but still missed target by a crazy margin. How did I do? Asked the father. Terrible, the boy said in a clipped voice, obviously not impressed. The father pulled off his blindfold and smiled for the first time since arriving the shooting range. What's going on, dad? The boy asked. Father continued to smile and then began to say, In life, to get to your goal, to get to where you want to be in life, first you have to open your eyes to see where you're going, see your target. All the power of mind, thought and concentration cannot help hit the target. Keep your eyes on the prize. No distractions of any sort. Don't even blink. You can never hit a target you cannot see. Hmm. Please subscribe.